you can become an ISRO scientist. Yes, I'm talking to you. Let's talk about how, shall we? Hey Jellies, what are you doing? Welcome to Jelly Time. Today we are talking about ISRO and how you can start working at ISRO. I have got so many questions from so many of you guys that how can I get a job at ISRO? So today I'm going to answer all your questions by this video. So stay tuned until the end. So if you don't know yet, I'm a former ISRO scientist. I used to work at Bangalore at the ISRO Satellite Center. So enough about me. Let's talk about you. Okay, so more important thing. How can you get a job at ISRO? Before we talk about how, let's talk about why. There could be many reasons why you want to work at ISRO. Some of them may be because you are like so interested in space technology and space research and you want to work with satellites and rockets and you want to do something great or you want to work with central government and have all its facilities. I'm telling you very valid reasons. Both of them very valid reasons. Now let's talk about how. Well, you must know that ISRO hires in almost all fields. Does not matter which field you are in. You might be an engineer, a physicist, an astronomer, an administrative assistant, a stenographer, a typist. You can be an accountant or a management person or driver or chef or even a doctor or nurse. ISRO still hires. I mean, positions uh, are open from time to time. But I must say that the most hired people are engineers especially in mechanical, computers and electrical field. Other job positions are not that frequent, but you can always look at the ISRO careers website. I will put the link in the description. Do check them out. You can see a list of uh, open positions at any point of time. But in any case, open positions for engineers are the most frequent. I think every year there are openings, mostly in mechanical, computer science and electrical, sometimes in aerospace and chemical and those stuff as well. So you get the picture. So let's talk about the most wanted open positions and that is for the engineers and how you can become a scientist engineer at ISRO. So it is a three-step process. It's a nationalized all over India hiring process and it has three steps. The first one is a grade-based cutoff or the mark-based cutoff wherein um, they look for the number of applicants and the number of open positions at any year and they decide a percentage cutoff. Okay, so if you have a good grade um, like 85 and above, you should have a very positive chance to go past the first stage unless there are like only five or ten positions open then it might be a little bit difficult but otherwise it should be pretty easy now the next round is a test you know actual examination mcqs multiple choice questions the pattern is quite similar to the gate examination you know what all subjects and everything that you study for a gate exam you should study all the same give a lot of practice examinations how much ever you can look for previous year questions practice them and give the exam give timed exams you know put a stopwatch and then start writing exam and see how much you can cover in in 90 minutes i think that's the time limit but i'm not really very sure or it's changed so for the second round you need to practice 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 a lot to pass this stage and i will say this is the most difficult stage out of the three because once you go past stage two you have a smaller pool of competitors right in the test round there are a lot of people giving tests and you know it's like any other competitive exam even if you get like one mark less than the cutoff you are out right so this is a major hurdle and the papers are really tough even though the pattern is similar to gate but the papers are quite tougher than the gate examination so keep that in mind most of the questions are conceptual based and a little bit calculations here and there but from my experience some questions if you don't know how to solve it or how to get the answer you probably will not be able to solve it until the end of the test so don't just linger on one particular question for a long time and waste your time right and look at all the questions so at least you can answer some you know you never know the easiest question will be at the end 
just because you're trying to solve the first question which is taking a long time you're ignoring the last question which might be very easy right so don't don't linger at any question for more than like 20 seconds now if you get past the exam stage great job really now the interview stage can be a little intimidating but do not get nervous or excited and don't blabber things at the interview if you don't know the answer take your time you know shut it out and think about it do you have an answer can you relate to other things and talk about something logical do not just blabber something that doesn't make any sense at all and that is not going to impress the interview panel and yes they're normally going to be like seven or eight people trying to interview you okay so don't get scared at that point of time okay because if you get scared that's it you ruin your chances and you don't want to do that the interview will probably be mostly conceptual on how much basic knowledge you have you will probably get the opportunity to direct the interviewers into which uh, is your strongest uh, field you know let's assume you are good at digitals or you are good at microprocessors or you are good at communication or you are good at operating systems or you are good at java or whatever it is you know try to divert the interviewers towards that direction so they ask more questions in your strong field right so that way you have the advantage That's it guys, you're all set to start preparing for your journey to ISRO. Keep these pointers in your mind when you prepare for the exam and prepare for the interview and that's it. You'll be all set for it. All the best. I hope this video will be a little bit helpful to all of you guys who want to start working at ISRO. And if you know anybody else who is also preparing, please share this video with them. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you next week. Same time, same place. Watch me, love and peace. Ta-da!